Ooh, I'm excited. How you doing today, folks? Now, I have a box from Justin David. And to those of you that don't know who Justin David is, he is a modder that primarily makes scales for Chris Reeve knives, but also makes thumb studs and all sorts of other good stuff. And I sent him this knife a while ago, right? First and foremost, I wanted to help out Justin. So I was like, hey, I'm going to go about buying every single inlaid Chris Reeve model. I send it to you, make a kind of like a mold for it or whatever. So you can go about making more because I'm all about helping out the community. And it took him a while, but he finally got back to me, said it was ready to go. And here is the demo units. So today's unboxing is the Chris Reeve Knives Omnumzan. Ooh, love that sound. All right, all right, all right. Uh, off top, we got packing peanuts. I fucking hate packing peanuts. Whatever. Um, we have the original micarta inlays. Um, I will never use these. So if you want some natural micarta inlays, comment below and let me know if you want them. They are yours free of charge. Just pay shipping. But here is the actual knife itself. So the bones of this is a large Sabenza 31 inlay. That is a drop point natural micarta CPMS 45VN 6AL4V titanium. All the usual stuff. Nice presentation from Chris Reeve as always. Again, usual stuff. Grease and tool. I guess you took out the lanyard pin. And here is the knife itself. Um, normally, this would be in like a blue kind of cloth. I'm not sure why it's not in that, but not a big deal. I need to cut this again. Ah, fail. Oh, never mind. No, I don't. False alarm. Ooh. <laughs> uh, look at that. Oh my God. If you like brass the way I like brass, hi, me reflected in the actual knife with how polished this brass is. That looks incredible. Um, there's already some patina forming and some specks and some other stuff because brass is a super sensitive material. So clean that up real quick. That is badass. Now, Justin has also sent a millet clip with the inlay. So this will have a nice millet clip, milled clip, with another brass inlay to kind of complete the look. It also has brass thumb studs, you can see. Oh, I love this. That very nice, buttery, crisp breathe action. Now, Justin claimed with his studs that you can always be able to flick it out because of how good his studs are. Let's see. Okay. Uh, Chris Reeves are known for being Sabenza smooth as far as the rollout. Still very, very smooth. That's my bad. Let's try the reverse flick. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, so you can do this. <laughs> you, can, you can flick it out when you're not failing like me. Um, I'm sure you can probably flick it out. I just, I'm bad at the reverse flick. Kind of. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> But absolutely gorgeous. Justin absolutely killed this. Like, I don't know if this trailer lights on camera, right? But, like, just the actual, like, subtle sculpting is just incredible. Like, it feels so good. There's no hot spots. Like, wow. 
there's like not a single bump or unchamfered edge. Everything is just buttery smooth and gorgeous. And it also adds that extra heft to the handle that I love. I guess it's a little thicker than a regular inlay. So it's hard to tell because it's a pretty small difference, but a little bit thicker. So it protrudes off the scales a little more. Protrudes off the scales. I cannot talk. So it gets a little more of a, uh, like a nice substantial feel in hand, which for my size of hands is always welcome. But like, dude, 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 dude. Also has that nice weight that I really, really like. Like, wow. He absolutely killed this. <laughs> I actually love that. It's kind of hard to see on camera because it's so reflective. My fingerprints are already all over this thing. As it is a polished scale. But like, it gives it like a really cool kind of like holographic feel. <laughs> oh, man. Man, man, man. Oh, there's also a brass lanyard tube. I didn't even realize that. That's awesome. Um, I like lanyards with my Chris Reeve knives, so I'm not going to use that. So that's kind of unfortunate, but very cool work. Definitely really appreciate that. Now, I think this is going to be sent over to my buddy Tom Jordan to be vapor honed to where it looks kind of like this. Well, this is technically a glass blast, but you get the idea. Stonewash, much darker material. Vapor hone to kind of match this crazy looking brass polish. Brass polish. I cannot talk. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> now, if you guys are curious on the comparisons, here is a Umnum Zan, and here is a Chris Reeve Sabenza that is heavily modified. Also, for those of you that are curious, this voids the warranty on your scales. Now, everything I'm going to say is with the understanding that Nolan, which is currently the Chris Reeve Knives like warranty supervisor, right? This is only going to apply as long as he is there. Once he moves on, which will probably happen eventually, we all have to move on at some point in time. This might not apply anymore, but he separates the scales from the blade. And also if you get the scales modified, you can also get them re-blasted or re-inlaid or whatever the case may be to then bring your knife back to factory warranty. So if this knife, for example, had some major problems, had to be sent back to the factory, these scales are completely voided. The blade still qualifies under Chris Reeve Knives Life Sharp. That's a benchmade thing, but they'll sharpen your knife for the life of the knife. Free of charge. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of that because I love the way Chris Reeve Knives sharpens their blades. So it is a piece that is beautiful. Functional, a little bit heavier, and also represents, in my opinion, one of the best things about, about the knife community. Damn, I can't talk today. One of the best things about the knife community, which is our makers and our modders and all the talented, talented people in our industry. Justin David, man, you're going to blow up if you haven't already. Like, this is incredible. So I have the Nkosi, small Nkosi, Sabenza, small Sabenza. Um, I believe we're going to get an Impenda. I think that's the like little slip joint with the inlays in there sent over. If you are interested in Mr. Justin David's service, I will leave his profile in the description below. To be clear, this is not a sponsored video. This is not a sponsored product. I just happen to love it, and so I'm talking to you guys about it. But man, 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 if you want some custom inlays, some custom work, some custom bling, that was very, very cringy. <laughs> Justin David is your man. This thing is gorgeous. Now, as always, folks, I love you all. Please take care and bye-bye.